¿qué tal? Bienvenidos a Portada, soy María Cris Guevara, hoy con la agrupación Air Supply que se presentó en Ecuador en 1992 en el Teatro Centro Cívico. Hoy conversamos con Graham Russell, revisando una trayectoria brillante y el anuncio de nuevos shows para este año. Bienvenido, Graham. Good morning, buenos días. Hi, Graham. I am so delighted that we are going to have this conversation. You are announcing new tours for this year? Yes, that's right. And hopefully we can keep them all. We haven't been to Ecuador for a long time, but we're really looking forward to it. We're, we're very eager to play down there again. You came to Waikil in 1992 and mm. it was an yeah. awesome time for us. I went to the shows and I enjoyed it a lot. What memories do you have from that time you came here to Ecuador? Well, I remember Uh, very well. I actually have a good memory that's still very much intact. I remember the iguanas, of course, in the market square, and I, I've never seen iguanas so big. So I spent a lot of time taking photographs of them. But uh, I also went to uh, a very famous uh, jeweler that that I, and I bought some silver jewelry from him. But I think now he's uh, no longer with us. But. Uh, I have great memories of Ecuador and I, I love the food, so I'll be looking forward to that. I, you know, I can't believe it's 30 years ago since we were there. It's amazing. Yeah, and I was telling you that my mom, who didn't speak any English, she enjoyed your music a lot. And many people from Latin America, maybe, who didn't speak English, uh, knew about Air Supply and enjoyed your music. Yeah, well, with our music, it's not necessary to speak or understand English, I think you, you can tell from the emotion of the music and when we perform, you know what's, what it's all about, you know what it means, and that's the most important thing, you know. M music has no language, it just transcends language, it's just, it's a f all a feeling, and we always hope to create that feeling on stage. What can you tell me about Latin American audience? Well, you know, we've been to Latin America many times over the years, and there's such romantic people and I think uh, probably the most romantic people in the world and I really believe that they're they show their emotions they don't hide anything and they wear their heart on their sleeves so when they feel the passion and the energy of music they express that a lot of a lot of uh, cultures don't do that a lot of cultures are very reserved and They're uh, very shy to express their feelings, but not in Latin America. It's, You're uh, it's English, beautiful. and maybe uh, English are known for not like showing too much emotions, but you're a very romantic man. Uh, yes, <laughs> well, I like to think so. But you're right, both English and Australian people are very, very reserved. But uh, over the years, we've, we've learned not to be that way. But I, you know, where I grew up in England was where all the very famous poets came from. And so when I was very young, yes. I, I read all those beautiful books. You read books about Lord Byron, yeah. Young Kids, Percy Shelley? Yeah, yeah. They, they all lived in, in my area, you know, many years ago, of course. But uh, so for me, it was a great thrill to read all their books. And I've read every one of them. So. That was a part of my uh, training, if you like, uh, as uh, to write lyrics and music. I was telling you previous to the interview that you were about to quit. You were penniless and nothing was mm. happening, but something happened and you continued, you, keep, you kept going. And some artists uh, maybe think about quitting. Tell us a little bit about that. And then it came a huge hit look for money in our in our couch to buy a loaf of bread you know we were looking everywhere for change to to buy something to eat uh, but we had that fortitude to carry on you know we had we had great songs we had russell's voice which was incredible and uh, and we had our friendship together which was amazing and we just kept going but for several years when we You know, sometimes we didn't eat all day, but we just kept going and we believed in what we were doing and, and we always have, and that came through. We just believed 
we were going to make it. We really did. You know. You have a very distinctive sound, and mm -hmm. it was incredible that you even at first tour with Rod Stewart, and and you were like very famous, like winning like gold records. But you also told uh, someone that you were penniless. <laughs> yeah, we were. When we toured with Rod, with Rod Stewart, he was the famous one. He, at that time, he was the most famous act in the world. And we were brand new and nobody knew who we were. And this was in the United States. And uh, we saw him and obviously we became good friends. And, uh, and he always said to us, he said, you have to keep going. You know, you've got to believe in yourself. And that was a part of it. Uh, but we loved watching him and all his entourage and it was larger than life and we wanted to be there too and so that was something to aim for that was our goal to to carry on and just do what we do you know we don't do it we don't know anything else how and, was uh, working with clive davis which marked a very important part of your um story yes he was very take big walks and look at the stars. I know it sounds very idyllic and very poetic, but that's what I like to do and that's how I write all my songs. Like you asked me earlier, was this interview too early? But I get up at five o'clock in the morning when it's dark and I play my guitar for two hours and I usually write a song every morning, but I love the peace and the tranquility And that's what really inspires me. So I'm very lucky because where I live, I live on a big uh, piece of property that's very large and it's all devoted to the wildlife. I gave it all back to the wildlife, but it's big. It's uh, about 12 square kilometers where I live. I've know. heard you were kind of nostalgic about the spirituality between the players and the process of making music. Mm -hmm. Uh, before now with technology and many other things that that is kind of lost well not for us because well in, in general it is lost but when we record we record live we don't use any computers uh, we all the instruments are real we use real strings we use an orchestra and we all, we record live in the studio Uh, for instance, I come to the studio with maybe 12 songs and we sit down and we learn them and we all learn the learn new parts and we play them, you know. Uh, it's very much like the Beatles Let It Be uh, a movie, which I'm sure you've seen, where we all sit down like, uh, and we all, we're all together. So everybody's energy is devoted to the song. But we don't we don't use any computers at all. Uh, yes. That's just not it's not our it's Method. not our world. Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, with this and more, we'll be back after a break. Con esto y más regresamos luego de esta pausa. Esto es portada y yo soy María Cris Guevara. Amigos, les saluda Gisela Bayona y quiero invitarlos a que de lunes a viernes no se pierdan el mejor noticiero a mitad de la jornada, de 13 a 14 horas, las principales noticias y las mejores entrevistas en vivo. Estamos de regreso, yo soy María Cris Guevara y hoy conversando con Graham Russell de la agrupación Air Supply que celebra 45 años de carrera. Graham, we're back. Yeah. Um, very delighted to have this conversation with you. What are you planning for these new shows this year? Well, we, uh, our first show is actually on Friday for, for this year. And uh, we have uh, several new songs that we're going to put in the show. But of course, You know, our audience, they want to hear all the big hits and we always play. Lost them, so. in love, all out of oh love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we've had so many hits 
uh, that sometimes it's hard to get them all in, but we, we play them all and we have a great time. I always, uh, you know, play two new songs and uh, I know I, I also recite a, a, a poem during the show, which is very unusual for a rock and roll band, but we do it because it's part of our legacy. You know, it's part of, it's part of falling in love which we want to do with our audience. What, do, what music do you listen to? What are your favorite bands? Apart from the Beatles. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, not, not a lot. Uh, the reason is, uh, you know, I love classical music and I find it very inspiring. Uh, when I'm in my house, like I am now, all day I have uh, instrumental music. So how these superstars... Never consider ourselves superstars. But when I'm home, I do the same things that everybody does. You know, I, I, I vacuum my house, I clean my house, <laughs> I take the rubbish out, and uh, I wash the windows, and I do everything that normal people do. I don't have anybody that works for me. I do everything. And I live on a ranch, and it's a lot of work. I chop my own wood. Uh, you know, I do all that, and I... I look after all the animals around me, all the wild animals. It's, it's beautiful. And I only hope I can keep doing that the older I get. <laughs> like, there are many artists, new artists, who don't stay grounded. So, um, it's mm. very refreshing to know, like, artists mm. like yourself, like, you have a very wonderful career. Like, yeah. you just stay grounded and you're nice to people. Absolutely. and. You know, we said that from the very beginning, Russell and I. You, we, we always try to treat people the way we want to be treated. Uh, and you said something very interesting. You said being grounded. It's so important to be grounded. You know, when I come back from a tour, the first thing I do, I'll go up into the mountains and I'll take a long hike to, to get grounded. And, you know, I may, I'll go in where all the trees are and I, I will talk to the trees. And I, be, I know it sounds weird, but that grounds me and I become normal again. Uh, because when we're on tour, we're on stage and it's kind of larger than life. Yes. Uh, but really, we're no different than anybody else. This is what we do for a living and we do it the best we can. But we're, we're just the same as everybody, you know, we really are. What is the feeling when you are on stage? What do you feel? Well, it's the most incredible feeling in the world because I, when I walk on stage, you know, uh, everybody, when well, not myself, but when Russell and I go on stage, everybody stands up. Uh, be, and it's kind of a, a respect because we've been around for so long and it's just a great moment. And I feel then that I want to give the audience the best that I have. Uh, with songs and singing and playing. I want to give them everything that I've got so that they never forget that night. And it's a great responsibility that I take very seriously. Well, I can say I went to your show and it's such an emotional experience. I even cried and I was, oh, and I yeah. was like, I don't know if I was 10 years old, but It was so emotional for me. Your, your music is beautiful and many people are so grateful for your music and your letters, lyrics. The... Thank you. That, that's such a beautiful thing to say. And, you know, it's part of Air Supply's legacy to, to bring our little message to the world. And, and we love to do that. And as I said earlier, it is a great responsibility that we take really seriously. And, uh, We hope we can keep doing it for a long time. Any plans really to do. come into Latin America? Yeah, we, we have shows there, uh, the, uh, I think August, September this year, providing uh, we can, it's safe to do so, you know. What can people expect from the show? They, they will hear all the great hits, hit songs, They'll hear new things and they'll see us come into the audience to, to do one or two songs in the audience. So it'll be a great, a great night. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it already because we haven't been to Latin America for some time for obvious reasons. But uh, 
we will come this year. So I hope everybody will come and see us. 45, of, 45 years of making music. What is the balance you have from when you started, when things were mm. very hard to, to now? Right. Well, of course, things are easier now. Uh, we don't have to worry uh, about a lot of things, but we don't take anything for granted either. You know, we always say that the show that we're about to do will be the best show of our career uh, every night. We say that and we want it to be so. But we just we're very grateful to be able to do what we do. I mean, you know, we've been together all these years. But the amazing thing is we get to do what we love to do. And that's a great thrill for us. It's and a privilege. It's a, it's, a, it's a privilege. You're right. And it's one we're very thankful for and we don't take it for granted. So we're always thankful to our audience because they're the ones that put us here. So we owe them a great debt of gratitude and we hope we will always be repaying that debt. Working with so many artists, do you have any favorites? Well, we've worked with a lot of people over the years. We've worked with uh, Rod Stewart, uh, David Foster, uh, my very, very good friend, Alejandro Lerner. We've worked with him many times. Uh, and I know he comes to plays in Ecuador. Uh, you know, it's great. We, it's great to work with different people and to see what they have to offer and to join, join your energy with theirs and to see what comes out of it. And I always look forward to that. It's great. But, you know, the, my, the favorite person I love to work with is, of course, Russell. <laughs> okay, say hi to Russell for me and thank you for this conversation. Um, I'm sure people from Ecuador will be very happy to have you again here. Thank you. That was Russell. He just called me. You wanted to know how the interview was. <laughs> so would you please <laughs> give a message to your audience here in Ecuador and in the whole world? Because you can watch this uh, show indeed. everywhere. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I am Graham from Air Supply. And I want to say a special hello to our fans all over the world, but especially to everyone here in Ecuador. And I hope to see you very soon this year in Latin America. So thank you so much. Muchas gracias Graham, estuvimos conversando con Graham Russell de Air Supply eh, compartiendo un poco de su trayectoria, 45 años de carrera celebrando y así nos despedimos, soy María Cris Guevara. <música>